you are watching Man Horror Mania, and in today's show, we are going to make XFCE look modern, and we're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Let's rock! Now, you will see here that I am running a bare-bones install of Manhoro Linux, and I have it completely updated to the current 0.8.8 .8 Release Candidate 2, and actually I've installed uh, 087 TAC1, updated it, and it automatically updates it here in the welcome screen. What I'd like to do is to do something really cool with theming. You guys have seen me use the default theme sets that have come with XFCE. This time, we are going to apply some KDE type theming to give you a really cool looking desktop. Here, let me show you what I mean. I'll show you my desktop. You will see here, when I perhaps right click on my screen, I have a nice streamlined menu. Uh, with rounded edges and that sort of thing. This is the G. This is the Oxygen GTK thing, and I really like what you can do with this because you can tweak the colors on this. Unlike the current GTK3 themes, that you really just can't change colors on. This will allow you to make a theme that you can customize to your liking. And I mean, it even makes the whisker menu really look like a champ here. Uh, it's really nice the way... Um, so it just gives it a really nice modern appearance and look. So I'm going to show you how to do this and we're going to take our uh, current uh, default Minharo desktop and we're just going to pimp this up and make it look cool. So I'm going to show you how to do this real quick here. Let's go ahead and open up the terminal emulator. And there's a few things we're going to need. Now, uh, an added benefit to this is by issuing the following commands you're also going to have KWIN installed on your system and so then you'll be able to do some pretty cool things with uh, you know with desktop effects so this serves multiple purposes alright so let's go ahead and run Yaourt and then I'm gonna go uh, KDE base helps if I spell it correctly and we want the KDE base slash workspace. So in my listing, it is number 16. It may be different for yours, but that's going to come from extra KDE base slash workspace. So I'm going to put in 16. It's going to ask for your password. Okay, and then it's going to ask you for the phone on back end. I happen to be partial to GStreamer. I don't use VLC on my system, so I'm going to select that one. Okay, and then it's going to download a load of dependencies, so we're going to go ahead and proceed with this installation. Another advantage to doing this is then you've got the base for a lot of really cool KDE applications. Pretty much uh, any KDE software that I've tried is just really a champ. While this is installing, I have an announcement for those of you who want to be able to run Compids on your Manharo desktop. The good news is there is now a binary repository. You can install version 8 or version 9. And to get information on this, simply see my Compids install tutorial here on Manharo Mania. Okay? And uh, in the show notes, I did put the instructions, but YouTube likes to truncate anything it determines as a web link. So copy, copying and pasting the, the instructions and saving them for later is not really practical. So I also included that as a comment. So please look at the uploader comments section that is in there, and you will see the code where you can copy and paste to your Pac-Man dot com file so that you can have that added repository. Now that is finished, let's go ahead and install Oxygen GTK. So that's going to be Yowert. Okay, and here we have in the top of the list Oxygen GTK 2. 
and then Oxygen GTK3. I'm just going to go ahead and install both of them. So I'm just going to type in 3 space 4. Good. Now both of those are installed. I can close the terminal. So you can see why I use the terminal. It's just easier for me to do it this way than to use the graphical installer. But if you prefer the graphical installer, that's a cool thing too. All right, now let's go into our let go into our XFCE settings first, because now we are going to assign appearance to this to Oxygen GTK. All right, and you will see that we now have a really nice, elegant looking dolphin theme here. Now to adjust your theme, we're going to need to use KDE's settings. Okay, so. We're going to go ahead and go into settings here, okay, and then here it is, KDE system settings. You want to open this, all right, and then you want application appearance. We'll double click on this, and now you have a lot of options that you can do with this. You can change how your widgets appear, so uh, any like progress bars and that sort of thing. If you want oxygen, you can have that, or if you want CDE, clean looks. Uh, Windows 90 whatever style, a motif, oxygen, and plastic. Come on, plastic. There you go. But you know what? I think I'm just going to stick with oxygen because I really like the way oxygen appears. Okay? Alright, and you can fine tune this a little bit better. Uh, you can determine how your graphical defects are displayed from the drop-down menu here. You can show icons on buttons, show icons in menu, see the icons on the buttons. If you don't want the icons, you can actually remove those if you want. Okay? In your main toolbar, you can have text be side icons. You know, so you, you have some options here to configure this and really make it your own. All right, and then, of course, colors. We're going to go ahead and apply that and change, okay? All right, now you're going to see we have a number of pretty cool themes already preloaded into this. Wonton Soup is a nice one. Let's go ahead and apply this. On my system, usually the changes take place immediately. I may have to log out and log back in uh, to see the difference. Uh, now, you can also get new schemes, okay? So by clicking on getting new schemes here, you can choose them by rating. That's what I like to do. And then you can see there are a lot of really cool things here to choose from. These are all different color schemes. You know what? I'm in a red mood today. So let's do something with red. I'm going to choose the dark red theme. We're going to install this. Okay. And then close. And then now you'll see you have the dark red theme. All right. I'm happy with that. All right. And so let's click apply on this. And then icons. Well, you can do an awful lot with icons in this. I mean, uh, if you don't like any of the icon sets that this comes with, you can choose to get new themes. Word of warning, though, these files take forever to download. So uh, I'm not going to be downloading and installing any of these, but I just want to show you that this option is available for you if you want to uh, get some pretty cool icons for this. But I think I'm going to go with the Fayenza. Let's go with regular Fayenza. Why not? We'll apply that. Okay, now it automatically applied that here. I'm wondering why it's still not showing my wonton soup here. So let's go back into our regular settings here. Ah, here it is. All right, so it did apply. Let me uh, go ahead and close this. I'm going to go ahead and log out and then log back in and see if it applies. Okay, now we can see it's done exactly what I wanted it to do. So now we have that theme applied, okay? That looks kind of cool, actually. But maybe you don't want that highlight color here. So you can change that. Let me show you how to do that. We're going to go into settings here, and then we are going to go back into the KDE settings, KDE system settings right here, because now you can customize these colors to your preference. So you can take any theme that you get, go into application appearance here, right? You can take any theme that you get here with the colors and you can tweak them to your liking. 
So let's go into colors now on the dark red one here. You've got the selection background. You can change those to anything you want. Uh, we have a varied hover decorations. I'm going to tell the hover decoration here that I, I kind of want to hide that. So I'm going to sample this color here. Apply it. And now you're going to see that when we hover over here, it's not showing that red border around there. Pretty cool, huh? And you can, you can tweak any of these colors, and you can go through these different menus. You can change the view colors, and what by changing these, you can have uh, independent coloring schemes for different things. That's why under the colors option here, and we go to common colors, you're seeing varies. Uh, in these decorations. This is because there are colors that are separate for different things. So this is something that's really cool. So you can adjust your style, you can adjust your colors, you can adjust your icons, and you can even do some really cool things with fonts. So if you don't like the default font set, all of that is right here. How cool is that? And so um, now that we have this nice little red theme, it's only appropriate that we use a wallpaper to match it. So let's go ahead and go into desktop settings here. We're going to scroll down. Doesn't that look cool the way, you know, the, the windows and everything are set up in here? That just looks awesome. It really gives XFCE a, a cool looking appearance. This is probably a little bit too red and saturated, so we can actually, oh, let's... I want to try and make this match the red colors as much as we can. And maybe take its brightness down. I want to kind of make it match this color here. And it looks like I'm getting pretty close, ain't I? Alright, maybe we can pipe down that saturation a little bit. Oh yeah, cool! Alright, so now we have our Heavy Metal Doom desktop. If you thought this was useful, please let me know. Uh, and if you have any other suggestions to improve on them, definitely put it in the space below. As a reminder, please support the content creators you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or tossing them some coins. Peace out.